Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Rad here from Rad Tarot and this is going to be a recent Aries Moon and Aries Rising a weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for the period October 15 to October 21st 2018 and uh, while I'm doing the shuffling guys again I want to remind you that this is just a general Tarot and Lenormand reading for Aries a star sign and it is not your personal reading therefore uh, here in this video I will explain you the meanings of the cards and um, there are synergy as well in the spread but it falls to you to make sense of them and uh, to align them to your personal situation. Now if you want me to do that for you that is obviously a subject of a, a personal reading and for personal readings please check out my website uh, which is listed down below in the description of this video and uh, there you are going to find a, a full list of my services as well as um, their pricings. So uh, that set aside, cards fully shuffled, let's cut them and let's see what we got for you. We are going to the tarot card spread. Now the first card that we do have here, the first position, will be about Aries' topic of the week. The second position will be regarding the core of the situation. The third position, that will be about the challenges which are causing predicaments. And the last card that we do have, this is going to be regarding the um, guidance that Tarot has for you, Aries. So, uh, that being said, let's see what you got now. The first card here is going to be the King of Pentacles as a topic of the week. Uh, this, is, this, is, this is going to be quite a, a week of sustainability, for the lack of better terms, because that week most likely will present you with the um, opportunity, so-called, to kind of capitalize on your current ongoing deeds, as the King of Pentacles is someone who is first fully attending to the ongoing and current duties, either into one career or either into one relationship, before uh, a new challenges, you know, a new aims or goals has to be placed on the, uh, on the table here and take it under, uh, and taken under, which means that that week is going to be rather a, a peaceful one in the sense of that whatever you have promised that you're going to do or, um, you know, whatever kind of like a, a tasks have been placed um, for you to take uh, to take on them uh, it has to be you know uh, executed at that particular week and also this card is kind of like a reassurance that nothing traumatic is about to happen so you will have all the time on the world on the world and all the means necessary you know to basically fulfill your promises and also kind of like accomplish your task and goals that have been established before the week takes place. On another hand, the King of Pentacles is also a, a very calculative investor, which means that this week you will have that acute sense of where exactly to invest, either time, money, uh, you know, emotions, if you want to say it that way. So, in other words, you will rather shield yourself from um, irrational actions and decisions which may provoke some poignant experiences experiences going further into the future the second card which is about the top at uh, the core of the situation here that will be the king of wands and the king of wands it is very um enthusiastic the king of the king of wands it's uh, I'm, I'm trying to find the word here um He's very devoted, if I may say it that way, into one current part, into one cur uh, current agenda. So what we are having this specific week is establishing and completing a, a very big task indeed regarding your career or your relationship or maybe in the both uh you know, in the both fields of your life, but the thing with the King of Wands is that you have taken the correct measures and the correct path so you can um you know, fulfill your quote-unquote destiny or quote-unquote responsibilities regarding different people or regarding your situation at work. Very important here is uh, to be acknowledged is that because of your uh, premeditated measures that you have taken in the past here with the King of Wands, now uh, the whole process, you know, of completing your tasks will be uh, much more easier than it had to be, all right? So you have taken some very 
correct approach and, and quite accurate measures regarding the situations that could involve as well rivals that you that you had in the past uh, which you actually overcome in the in the recent past and now the path for you is clear. Uh, important to be acknowledged here with the King of Wands is that you need to maintain your positive attitude toward the situation and also to have better expectations of what the final product needs to be. So if you think that uh, you are doing great thus far, you need to know that now you know the field is wide open for you to kind of improve your performance and to kind uh, and to basically give much better result, the results that you have anticipated which uh, token practically regarding career or regarding relationship it could stabilize your career to a point where you can become quite valuable asset to the company or it could improve your relationship more than you have actually expected that is going to be improved after you are completing as I said either your promise or your task you had towards your partner here and uh, with the king of wands uh, and, the, and the king of pentacles there is a little bit of a controversy that we do have in between these couple of cards because one wants to stay in one place the other wants to kind of like uh, reconnoiter for a new opportunities but it is important here to acknowledge that this is the topic so it is best if you'll be able to tame your uh, your urge to um, seek the newness for now, you know, and completely focus on your ongoing undertakings. The next card, which is representing the challenges that may cause predicaments, that will be the Hermit card. So what we do have here is the long-term, um, well, well, you know, the long-term results. So this card giving us a hint that the results of your labor will not come in instant and that may kind of place you into rather more despondent situation uh, or standpoint that you would like to, alright? And for some which are a little bit more um, emotional than others, even it could uh, put a question, you know, uh, were they investing in the correct place? Because, you know, the results does not come instantly after the job is done. So what we are seeing is more of a, a long-term prospect of finalizing your responsibilities, duties and undertakings thus far rather than collecting instantly the fruits of your labor. Therefore, uh, it will, uh, therefore here... The property of the King of Wands to maintain your positive attitude strikes even with a greater magnitude there. Uh, so you guys need to, Aries, you need to have faith and clamorous belief that you will be rewarded for your efforts and for your toils that you have placed behind the job. Uh, it will be also very hard when we do have the um, the Hermit card is to uh, kind of tame your emotions and that's why those which are more emotional will be exceptionally vulnerable to the situation that could cause a little bit of an outburst. Um, outbursts, excuse me, into your relationship or even into your career, uh, which has to be overcome because uh, really if you look practically at the situation, Aresis, you are going to recognize, you know, that the results will eminently follow. It is just you need to have a little bit more patience about it because sometimes they need to kind of cultivate themselves for lack of a better term, before you can actually read them, uh, reap them with their um, full extent. So uh, what here the heart of uh, the hermit represents is the clamor that everything will will turn out positive at uh, at the very end. And what you may not recognize is that the end is not yet came. And as far, as far as it goes and as far as it concerns you, you have done your job, but now you have to wait the, um, the meal to be cooked, if I may express myself that way. And later into the future, it will be served with its full extent. And the last card here, which represents the guidance that Tarot has to offer for you, that will be the King, uh, the Queen of Wands. And what we have is a acute sense of where the means lies, which means that uh, on top of having 
that devotion here and that big responsibility or rather like a, a big thing and undertaking that will repay itself to you either regarding career and relationship you also if you take a little bit of a break here to think it thoroughly uh, it is likely that you will find the most um, kind of like compatible means that you can exert with less toils possible regarding the the thing either toward your partner or or either toward your um career it's important as well to be acknowledged with the with the queen of wands is that um you will have that acute sense into the human nature which means that most likely as soon as you interact with someone you will know where the problem lies Therefore, you will kind of have a supremacy here when you lead arguments and when you lead wrangles, um, when you have wrangles with those people. So you kind of, with, with that kind of an upper hand, you truly can use it to hurt others, partners, you know, friends, family. So again, I would advise you having the queen of, oh, having the queen of wands here is to kind of be able to tame your emotions because that week for those who are overly emotional is not going to be very positive in a term of that. Yeah, they will kind of achieve, you know, their current responsibilities and they will set settle their ongoing undertakings but in the process they may kind of drive away some people which are faithful supporters for the um, caused by the lack of imminent results after the job is done and uh, next we are going to see what awaits you here uh, with uh, the Lenormand cards uh, I will shuffle now and what the Lenormands are to show is um, event that is to happen and you should either look forward to or uh, try to avoid it right so um, shuffled cards let's cut them let's see what we got now the first one that is going to be the whip and the broom and that card speaks for conflict it speaks for ret retribution ill feelings remember what I said overly emotional people may drive others which are otherwise faithful companions on their behalf away so uh, the next car that we do have this is going to be the um, the mountain and the mountain counts for delays it counts it counts for predicaments it counts for diversion and the last one that we do have here is the book which it counts for secret it counts for knowledge it counts for learning so what these cards really speaks to me is that there will be some sort of an arguments that are going to cause delay over a certain information that will come maybe information will be misinterpreted from somebody of the parties either a co-worker or maybe your partner in your relationship who knows but definitely is going to cause some some predicaments and delays which can be actually actually diverted what i mean is that you can find another angle to approach the situation that is going to exclude those kind of a um those kind of a conflicts here so all in all guys uh, to summarize that uh, you irises have to be very tamed regarding emotionally and you really need to put yourself together and focus on that particular undertaking and a task that have recently started and which is very important for your development further this is going to be the week in which uh, in which week you will actually be able to settle it down you will be able to solve the issues should you have any and also you will be able to find the means necessary in order to push that thing through however uh, the results will not come in imminently and that may place you into a more emotional state than usual and and through that emotional state you may pu push away people which are otherwise very faithful companions and supportive uh, supportive of yours it's important as well to be acknowledged not to use your supremacy in leading conversations for to create a uh, ill feelings in your emotions from others towards you otherwise productive week and uh, I hope 
uh, that you will be able to capitalize on that information, you know, and uh, you will truly put your devotion into one specific spot which promises you a, a great amount of growth if one is rather more practical than emotional toward it. So that being said, Erises, this was your weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for October 15th to October 21st, 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And uh, again, this was a, a general reading for the Aries star sign and that was not your personal reading. Therefore, guys, I have explained you the meanings of the cards the best as I could and um, their synergy in the spread, but it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. If you want me to do that for you, well, that is a subject of a personal reading and for personal readings, please check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye.